it was the greatest relationship and collaboration I've had with an actor ever. And it was like having the best imaginary friend to play with. It started from just the idea of like, what happens that very first morning in an arranged marriage when the wife wakes up and if the guy goes to work and she's just there and you have no manual to do this. And it's really just about the fact that there is no manual for anything in life. She's just a small town feral misfit who, who and it all stems from that. You can, I mean, you can read whatever you want into how she sits amongst society, but it's really about this woman, that guy, this street, those neighbors, and those circumstances. It's really just about an, a, an outsider who doesn't have the tools to sort of navigate through life. And then hopefully by the end, she's got a few more. It was the greatest relationship and collaboration I've had with an actor ever. And it was like having the best imaginary friend to play with. The types of performances I go after are quite specific. It's all behavioral and about removing the intellectual approach to it. Everything Uma does is sort of impulsive and in the present moment. Radhika and my work was to constantly root ourselves in the body, in the present moment, and, and react from instinct and intuition. It's a mad city, a wonderfully mad city, and I say that with affection. And, you know, a lot of it was just being slightly intoxicated by that city and trying to capture it. Uh, in a visceral sort of manner. All these contradictions of things going on in the place, all these different cultures mixing, all these people rubbing up against each other. I hope I sort of managed to capture it in the way I saw it. And maybe because I'm not from there, I also saw it from a slightly outside perspective. Yeah, the music was there from the script stage. I mean, I'm, I'm, it's like my companion as I'm writing. Uh, a woman running through a Bombay slum and uh, music by Motorhead, had a bunch of speed freaks from Birmingham blasting over that. Or this wonderful Cambodian music, which I think is, when you first hear it, you can't quite place where it's from. Is it Indian? Is it some something Western? And I just like the idea of transposing all these things uh, that shouldn't go together together. 